Delta Airlines is following suit from other airlines, charging customers more money for their first checked bag. The airline is now charging $30 for the first checked bag, which is up from $25. Customers will also have to pay $40 for a second checked bag. That's up from $35. JetBlue started the trend in late August. United joined the parade less than a week later. American Airlines has resisted the increase, but it also is expected to give in. Last year, Delta Airlines collected nearly $908 million in baggage fees. Apple is coming out with new features that will help parents control their kids' screen time. Parents will be able to remotely limit how much their kids spend on certain games or entertainment apps. Parents can schedule quiet times so kids will not be able to access their phones. Parents can also choose to only allow apps like ebooks and homework sites to run. The new feature isn't just for kids. If any adults want to use the time limits on themselves, they are allowed to. Apple says it wants to help users balance all things that are important in their lives. Later in sports, the Minnesota Vikings have been hard at work since the team's tie in Green Bay on Sunday. Beth joins us later to talk about the moves the team is making. And North Dakota schools are serving up food that's close to home. Get your name in the pool at Dakota Magic Casino's Splash for Cash giveaway this September. You're watching Valley News Live on KVLY, your hometown NBC station. Nothing defines us better than developing our God-given resources to benefit all the people of North Dakota. That means developing traditional and renewable resources. I'm encouraging new energy infrastructure, like building safe, environmentally friendly pipelines. I help lead the repeal of the oil export ban. Now, foreign markets are open so that North Dakota can deliver energy to the world. I'm Kevin Kramer, candidate for Senate, and I approve this message because our thriving energy industry means jobs. I'm Chad Wide with Beds by Design, and this is my business. Our main focus is just building mattresses at a much more affordable price than what you would find in the furniture store world. Not only are you going to buy Factory Direct, which would save you a lot of money and you're going to get a lot of higher quality mattress, but also where you're not having to repeat that process over and over and over. And you virtually buy one bed and we can take that bed and adjust it, fix it, change it forever. Now is a great time to own the Honda CRV, a 2018 KBB.com Best Buy. It's an SUV with smooth handling and excellent power delivery and plenty of space for you and your passengers. So find out for yourself why the Honda CRV is ready for adventure. Hurry into your Honda dealer to find a great deal on a 2018 KBB.com Best Buy. Get free pad at the Carpet Garage. During our 45th anniversary, for every square foot of in-stock carpet you buy, receive an equal amount of padding absolutely free, including Smart Strand Forever Clean from Mohawk. Smart Strand Forever Clean is the perfect carpet for families with kids and pets. Plus, it's the only carpet with permanent built-in stain and soil protection that won't wear or wash off. And the Carpet Garage stocks it at the lowest price in town, guaranteed. Ask about special 12-month financing, too. Free pad with any in-stock carpet purchase, only at the Carpet Garage. 300,000 North Dakotans live with a pre-existing condition. They're our family and friends. But to Kevin Kramer, they're people who abuse and game the system. We're not going to allow you to just abuse the system because you have a pre-existing condition. That's what Kramer said. After voting five times to let insurance companies deny coverage to people with conditions like cancer and asthma, Kevin Kramer follows Washington. North Dakota pays the price. DSCC is responsible for the content of this ad. Tonight, Kevin Hart is Fallon's co-host yes. with a slapjack rematch. <laughs> can't hear anything. Plus, Robert Irwin's Animals, new Tonight Show. Then Seth has Matthew McConaughey and Taryn Killam, all new tonight. Thousands of people die from distracted driving each year, and the Minnesota Department of Public Safety wants the state to do something about it. They want it to be illegal to hold a phone while driving. Chris Miller does a lot of driving. Today, his route is taking him from Canada to Michigan. He says in Canada, where he comes from, you're free to take calls on your phone, but you need to have a hands-free headset. Miller thinks it should be banned in Minnesota. There was legislation to do so this spring, but it went nowhere. 
There's talk that lawmakers will be looking at another bill when legislative sessions reconvene next year. The University of North Dakota is announcing some changes to football tailgating areas. Parking will now be held at the Alaris Center, but Tailgate Village will be moved next to the season-long tailgating spots. Day of parking spots for fans who are not a member of the Champions Club or have a reserved parking pass will now pay $5 per spot instead of 15 Fans are able to purchase multiple parking spots to allow more room for tailgating next to their car. This change will last for the rest of the season. Students around North Dakota will be getting a taste of food from their own state. Tomorrow is Pride of Dakota School Lunch Day for more than 44,000 students in 185 schools. They'll dine on food grown by North Dakota farmers and ranchers and processed by local businesses. The Agriculture Department says the goal is to teach students how food is raised and produced and about the importance of agriculture to North Dakota. More than 500 companies are members of the Pride of Dakota branding program. And remember to like Valley News Live on Facebook. You can follow the latest news, weather, and breaking news updates anytime on your feed. All you have to do is search Valley News Live, like our page, and you'll stay informed throughout the entire day. Bikes are still in first place, but... But they're always looking for more, and they made yes. some important moves this week. Mike Zimmer, a big fan. He was positive today. We'll get to hear from him <laughs> as well as Carson Wentz coming up next.